Yo, what is up guys? I'm bringing you a brand new video today and this time it is on how to add a chat blur effect over top of your chats in really any game that you're streaming through OBS or Streamlabs OBS. As you can see in the bottom left there is a chat blur effect on that particular chat window and the one above it does not have that effect. And the chat is basically unreadable when this is open. It's a really good option if you don't want to have to put a very intrusive picture over top that just is a huge black box that really just detracts from the gameplay of your stream. So in order to achieve this effect, I'm going to pop down this VOD and go straight into OBS. I have a brand new scene here, brand new uh, OBS that has no sources or anything. So we're starting directly from scratch. What we're going to be doing here is adding in our game capture window to start. You can use display capture or game capture, however you prefer to display your games. And we're going to add this as a new source. I have on my second monitor my old RuneScape account. Don't really play that much anymore, but it has a chat and it can be blurred, so we're going to do that. From there, we add in a brand new scene, and this is where the chat blur starts coming into effect. So we're going to name this chat blur. It can be named anything that you really desire, as long as you know this is your chat blur. From there, we need to duplicate what we had just previously done. So whether that be display or game capture, you're choosing. Uh, we add in basically a second version of that game window and hit done. We go back to scene one from there and we add in a brand new source and we're going to be choosing the scene that we had just created called chat blur. We hit add existing source. And now we have two game windows, one layered on top of another. From there, in order to achieve the chat blur effect, what we need to do is add some filters onto this chat blur window. So we're going to hit filters, and we are going to be adding in scaling slash aspect ratio. What we need to do is under scale filtering, we go to point scale filtering, and our resolution should be the lowest available. If you have a higher resolution monitor, this is going to be higher resolution than 640 times 360, but just use the lowest available to you. And then we're going to hit done. You can see now that the window is very low res, and if we were to scale this up in full, it would look very blurry, and that's totally what we're trying to do here. Except we only want to blur this chat down here. We could blur up here if we really so desired, and that's just done through the next filter we're adding which is the crop slash pad filter. So we, op we open that up, we hit done, and where we want to move this particular filter to is directly on top of this chat window. So we need to move it over from the right to the left and from the top down to the bottom. So from the right, we'll put in a random value here, let's say 450, and we'll see how close we get to chat. So we're quite close to where we want to be and we'll just use our mouse wheel to mouse in from there. Get very specific on where we want to be blurring. From the top, we'll do the same thing. We'll put in random value here, see where we land. And then we will use our mouse wheel to really hone in on where we want to be blurring. And from the bottom, we'll move it up. And that's about where we want to be blurring. So we'll hit done on that. And now we have a very low resolution chat right here. And it's as easy as moving this into the bottom left corner. I recommend holding control while you're doing a lot of this. It's going to help move and uh, move your window around without it snapping to the side of the window. I'm not getting super specific with it. You can get really specific and make it look 100% natural, but for time's sake I'm not going to. Now to show you what that effect looks like, I'll pop up a scene projector and show you exactly what we're working with here. So when I'm, when I'm moving around in the game now, you can see that my chat is completely blurred. It's not quite directly overlaid on top, but like I said before, um, you can see that all of the grass and the bushes beneath it are still totally visible, but the chat is completely blurred. If we were to open up our OBS and hide that chat blur, you can see now that our chat completely clears up. That's basically it guys. You can do that for any part of your screen. It's just all in the cropping and the padding wherever you move that particular blur. This works for every game and it works for dual streaming PCs as well as just one streaming PC. So I hope you guys found this video useful and you have a great rest of your day.